Guys, welcome back to all the channel for another video. Eastley at home in the FA Cup third round. You know, the magic of the FA Cup back at Rodney Parade. We need a fucking bit of magic today to get through this one. I think it's going to be a difficult game. I know Eastley have conceded eight goals in their last two games. I think 4 1 4 2 um, is their last two results. But it's going to be a difficult one because, you know, they're going to be up for I think they've sold out their away end. It's going to be a timid atmosphere i think because they are gonna well they're gonna want to win this they're gonna want to knock out a football league team and for them reaching the fourth round of the fa cup is massive but even massive for us obviously with the financial troubles etc going on at the moment in terms of a prediction i've said it all day we're going to win 2-1 i think it'll be horrible i think it'll be a dirty win but hopefully we can get the 2-1 win um and it'll be a little bit of a confidence booster knock out a team that is going to be up for it. They're not better on quality, but in terms of who's going to want it more, who's going to want to win more, it's probably going to be them. So it's going to be an interesting one. No Luke today, so we will have Ethan for uh, pre-match four to head of this one. But if you do go on to enjoy the vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Yeah, let's get to Rodney Parade. Hopefully get in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Come on. Eastley at home, third round of the FA Cup. Thoughts? Well, I... To be honest, I don't know what I would expect from this game. Over the, well, the one thing I am expecting is to, for there to be goals because none of us can keep a clean sheet for the life of us. Yeah, in terms of a prediction? It's going to be tough. I mean, they have a good striker in McCallum, obviously, class player. But we also have some good players in seven and eleven. So it's going to be a tough game, going to be dirty. But I think I'll agree with you on a 2-1 win. 2-1 win. And do you think it's going to take a confidence boost? I know they're a National League side, but they are obviously you know, a decent side in the National League at times. But... You know, is that going to take a confidence boost if we can get into the fourth round, take a couple of, you know, ho hopefully a couple of goals, get a couple of players' confidence up and kick on and hopefully further yeah. in this competition? Well, all those points you made are valid, but it's also a good, it's also a good way to get players like Bright Wood a couple of minutes, especially if we're winning the game. It's also good for the fringe players to get involved and obviously builds up confidence for them as well and allows us to make more substitutions and have more confidence all around the players. Yeah, up the county. Up the county. Ethan, what's the lineup? What are we saying? Well, similar to usual, we've got Townsend in goal, Payne and McGotland as your wing backs. So you've got back three of Clark, Delaney and Baker. Mm -hmm. You'll have Bennett and Charles Lee and Morris as your midfield three, and then Palmer Holdens and Evans up front. And then substitutions, we've got Max Ted on the bench as usual. Lewis and Wildig return, which is a positive that's, that's sign. Big. Very positive sign. You've got Wade, who's been decent in his last two sub appearances. Bright's back on the bench, also quite positive. Then we've got Nathan Wood, Keevan Rai, Matty Bonswell and Nelson Sanger. It's decent. decent team. Aaron Wilder back on the bench is positive. Come on. Easily gets underway at Rodney Parade. Come on the ball. Don't go short.
I'm at Romney 3, Newport 0, Eastley 0, Ethan Forts. Well, I feel like some of the, the defending's been decent, the midfielders have been good. I think Brynn's been man of the match again. Yeah. And then the strikers, they need to take these chances. We've had three very good chances and they just can't get it down. They need to get it down. Do you think like all these chances that we're missing could potentially come back to bite us on the ass because they've got 10 men behind the ball that are going to soak it up like you said Forest Green when they went down to 10 men were already in front yeah. these are drawing if they do score they're going to sit back so we have to like, just take the next chance that comes our way pretty much yeah you have to you can't especially against these these will get a goal and they'll, and they'll just kick shit into you take every yellow card they can get they've done it for, they've done it with 11 men they're going to keep doing the same tactics score the trust full time I feel like it's going to go to a, a, a replay, but I'll say 1 0 carry. 1 0 carry. I'll go with the same 1 0. I don't know who score it, but yeah, we've got to be, you know, be careful that these missed chances don't come back to bite us on the arse. It's going to be an interesting second half. Come on. Newport 1, Eastley 1, FA Cup replay. The fucking Eastley fans are in, in Rodney Parade, fucking taking the piss, celebrating the draw, which, you know, fair play. You know, a non-league side turn up or a football league side. If you get anything other 
then defeat, you're going to celebrate, even if it's a replay or draw. But, you know, some of those players are absolutely awful. I mean, not in, in terms of overall ability, but, you know, you're 1-0 up against the National League side at home, 10 men, you know, they've barely offered anything. They're defensive. The only goal they score is from a fucking shit corrupt penalty. But, look, you, at that point, 1-0 up, you bring on a couple of attacking changes, you, you know, take them to the sword, you batter them. You know, you score a second, score a third, kill the game off. And it is, it's awful. It's really awful. It hurts as well because, you know, we should be beating Eastley at home. You know, take away all the implications. We should be beating Eastley at home. It shouldn't be a matter of, oh, they're on a National League side, so they're going to fight. That shouldn't come into consideration. But if you have enjoyed this match day vlog, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Newport 1, Eastley 1. I'm just going to get home, forget about this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we get through the draw. But even if we do, it's not going to make a fucking difference. That was poor today. Very poor.